Hi, welcome to day four of adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. Let's look at, we're actually not going to add or subtract today. We're going to look at how to change improper fractions to a mixed number. So an improper fraction is when the numerator is heavier or bigger than the denominator. So I will give you an example here. The 10 is larger than the 4. That means that this number, because remember, fractions are just numbers, this number is bigger than 1. If the numerator is bigger than the denominator, the number is bigger than 1. We're just going to do a division problem. So we're going to do 10 divided by, that's what this line means, 10 divided by 4. So we know that 4 goes into 10 two times, and then there's some leftovers, right? Because two times four is eight. So the leftover is two, it's the remainder, and then we keep the denominator. Okay, so look at that again, take some time with it. This will be where you put that whole number. This will be where you put the remainder as the numerator of the fraction part and then you keep the denominator. Now remember, this is called a mixed number, okay? And if this happens to you, and in some cases you might be able to continue to, um, to simplify, okay? So we have our whole number, and then two goes into this two, two times, or sorry, one time, and two goes into four two times, that's their um, greatest common factor. So this actually can simplify down to two and a half. They're both correct. This would just be the lowest terms. Okay, let's look at another example. So seven is makes this heavier on top, right? So seven divided by four, four goes, and I like to go from the bottom up because it makes more sense to me. So I would say four goes into seven one time. There's a remainder of three. The remainder goes on the top or the numerator of the fraction and then keep the denominator. And this one can't be simplified anymore. That is as simplified as it gets. One and three fourths. There's also some cases where it equals a whole number. So 25 fifths is 25 divided by five. Well, 25 divided by five is five. So it doesn't have a mixed number. You could have zero, zero zeros, but that's not really a thing you need to do. 12 divided by four is three. It goes in evenly. So there is no additional fraction part. It's not a mixed number. It actually equals a whole number. Okay, so just to recap, you will divide the numerator by the denominator. Whatever the whole number is will go over to the side. The remainder goes on the top, the numerator of the fraction, and you keep the denominator. Okay, good luck, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.